what's up youtube it's your girl danny k here back with another video and if this is your first time on my channel welcome if you are returning to my channel thank you for joining me for yet another tutorial and in today's video we're doing you know it's springtime so all these nails is just going to be colorful spring you know all that good stuff um we're using not polished blossom nail by naya's oh i think it's mint y'all and we're using me a secret cover pink we're also using this 12 inch Kalinsky brush that I got from Amazon. It's in my Amazon storefront. And we're using the clear that I got from, um, oh my goodness. It's on Etsy. Y'all, when I find, when I figure the name out, I'm going to tell y'all because it's literally at the tip of my tongue and I can't think of the name. But as you can see right now, I am doing um a crop print that i am going to layer on ombre and encapsulate this is my first time doing this like this so you know i'm just dibbling dabbling and everything um i got my angles together for the most part you know i'm still <laughs> working on standing frame but we'll get that but i'm going to continue to let you guys watch the application and i'll be back <laughs> Thank you. 
oh so as you can see this um acrylic powder from nail by naya is called frost my bad not mint it's frost but yes um so i'm still you know getting my application down i feel like this is definitely one of my better applications um you know it can always get better but like i said in my last video i had bought me an acrylic mat to practice my liquid to powder ratio because i am still kind of struggling with that and then another thing is um using different acrylics they work differently and you're going to see when i later on in the video when i encapsulate i use acrylic creamery that is the company that i was trying to um tell you guys in the beginning of the video acrylic creamery um i use their clear acrylic to encapsulate this is the first time i used any acrylic from them i usually get tips and i also use their monomer which is very good but as of right now acrylic creamery is not in business anymore so um she was having a really big sale and i made i missed it i only was able to get some two things of clear acrylic and i got two other shades of acrylic i can't remember the actual um colors um excuse my dog in the background y'all he is just so rude mind you he's in the other room and he's probably barking because my wife is not paying him no mind but um i'm gonna let y'all continue to watch and i'll be back when i uncap these nails <music> Thank you. 
so this is where i'm using the uh, um clear acrylic and as you can see y'all i definitely didn't know how to use this and it was so runny when i say this one bead um that i had did that was close to the cuticles y'all that it was just running everywhere i was just like what the hell so i was like oh yeah is i was chasing it all over it was just running all over the place so i was like okay this is probably one of those acrylics where i don't need that much monomer i really was scared of it drying up on me fast so i'd rather have a you know wet bead than a dry bead and put a you know a bead that dries fast on the nail because then it's gonna be even hard to get that print out but after a while you know i was starting to get used to it so one thing i will say about this acrylic is super duper clear and i love it <laughs> definitely uh love this clear acrylic it was definitely like glass clear um some clears that i be using be like a little like a little fog in it um once you put the top coat on it though it don't look foggy but as you applying it it looks foggy but this acrylic look clear from like glass so yeah i loved it and i'm so sad that for right now she is no longer selling acrylics but hopefully she'll come back but um i'm going to continue to let y'all watch and i'll be back I just want to say like filing the nails yo this the part i really don't like like <laughs> i don't it just it's a lot of work it's a lot of work to file the nails and get it like you want it especially when you're still new to doing applications and you kind of got to do a little bit of extra filing because your application is not i wouldn't say perfect but it ain't what you want it to be so so you won't have to do too much filing but I'll be back, y'all. So right here we're using this, I don't know what what color this is, but it's from iGel Beauty. 
um but it's a liner and these liners are super duper dope another thing is when it comes to doing designs y'all i be having no clue what the hell to do i'm not really good at um liner work but i'm working on it and i know i said you know before i started doing designs and all that i would get my application down pat but y'all i just can't help it like doing just regular plain nails is just never going to do it for me so like i said i'm just going to be learning as i go as i'm learning you know perfecting my application i'm gonna be learning how to do artwork but we did this half a nail um that i thought was really cute Ooh, i did two coats of this um and then i added these little flowers that i got from timu i think these little uh colorful flower not colorful flowers but it's the same color as this uh color liner but i added some flowers also here i just kind of did some lines and added some dots you know things that i know i used to get <laughs> when i got my nails done a little easy stuff like i'm just learning how to do line work and get used to it so i just did something simple i ain't ready to do nothing all extravagant just yet but i'll get there but i'm gonna continue to let y'all watch and i'll be back <music> Top coating the nails, guys, with this iGel Beauty 
uh, no white top coat. So my last, my birthday set, I didn't record it, um, cause I didn't really like it. And now I, I think I know why y'all. So when I thought I was putting a top coat on my nails, I think I was putting a base coat on because when I was carrying it, it was just like still for whatever reason, seeming so sticky. And I just was like, I don't understand what happened. And then when I did this set, I think I realized what I was doing. I think I was putting a base coat on and not a top coat. You know? But now that I'm thinking about it and I realized what I did is hella funny. But when I had my birthday nails was hideous. I hated them. I, I literally did. I took them off as soon as I got home back from Baltimore. But yeah, I'm topping these. Um... And this set definitely came out like I wanted it to. Um, I had a little polish. It got over there somehow, some way, but it wasn't able to come off. But this little liner design right here came out super duper cute. And I wore these nails the next day to work, even though I only got one hand. I definitely um, <laughs> wore this set to work. But I'm going to let y'all finish and I'll be back. <laughs> and here we are guys with the final look and i am loving these nails these came out super bomb so let me tell you how like i have this little book that i write every nail set down that i want to do because if i don't i'm going to forget and then i'm not going to know what i want to do the next time I literally wrote it down and still put the glitter that glitter nail was supposed to go on my ring finger and not on my index finger but either which way it still turned out bomb and I love them but don't forget to like comment and subscribe hit that notification bell to get notified when I post more videos because I'm setting a schedule for myself to post at least two to three times a week right now i'm in the process of relocating so i'm packing all my stuff up guys but i cannot wait to see you guys in the next one if i wrote you a symphony